Radio Taiwan International (RTI), Chinese: Zhongyang Guangbo Diantai Pinyin: Zhongyang Guangbo Diantai is the English name and call sign of the International Radio Service, the central broadcasting system (CBS) of the Republic of China, commonly known as Taiwan. It is a government-owned station that broadcasts in 13 languages around the world, with a majority emphasis on Mandarin language broadcasts over shortwave into China. History The central broadcasting system was founded in 1928 as the voice of the Kuomintang KMT government quartered in Nanking on mainland China. During the Second Sino-Japanese War the KMT was forced by Japanese advances to relocate the radio station, along with the capital city, first to Hankou in the central Hubei province and then to Chongqing in south-central China. After the conclusion of the Second World War, which saw the surrender and withdrawal of Japanese forces, the KMT and the Communist Party of China resumed their civil war. The defeated KMT retreated to Taiwan in 1949 and the central broadcasting system moved with them. <laughs> <laughs> Current status After undergoing restructuring during the period 1996–98, CBS broadcast to mainland China and the rest of the world under the call sign Radio Taipei International and the Voice of Asia. Radio Taipei International essentially replaced the International Radio Services of the Broadcasting Corporation of China known as the Voice of Free China. Radio Taipei International broadcast to China and to an international audience. By contrast, The Voice of Asia was broadcast to the Asia Pacific region only and offered a lighter format than RTI. In 2002, The Voice of Asia call sign was dropped to leave Radio Taipei International as the sole broadcasting name for the service. This was in turn changed to Radio Taiwan International, to avoid confusion on the part of listeners, who had trouble associating Taipei with Taiwan. In addition, via domestic AM radio and shortwave, CBS also broadcast three different networks in Chinese mainly Mandarin to the mainland. These networks were the News Network, a news and information oriented service, the Variety Network, a music and features oriented service, also known as the Mandarin Program, Perspective Program, or the Pop Network Program, and the Dialect Network, programming aimed at the minorities of China. In time, the Variety Network was renamed the General Network, the News Network became the Mainland Network, and eventually the Mainland, General, and Dialect Network were merged in with Radio Taiwan International. One consequence of this was that CBS could no longer broadcast domestically over AM radio. Broadcasting details Radio Taiwan International broadcasts to the following countries and regions Australia and New Zealand China Europe Indonesia Japan Korea The Philippines South Africa South Asia Southeast Asia programming is carried in Mandarin, English, Hokkien, Cantonese, Hakka, Japanese, Indonesian, Thai, Vietnamese, Spanish, German, French and Russian. As of July 1, 2013, RTI terminated its shortwave broadcasts to North and South America due to budget cuts caused by the closure of WYFR, a Christian religious shortwave station which RTI leased airtime from and whose Florida transmitter RTI used to broadcast to the Americas. RTI programming was broadcast on WYFR at 5,950 kHz and 9,610 kHz between 5 p.m., 6 p.m. Eastern until 3 a.m., 4 a.m. After that point, Family Radio continued to host RTI's audio service to the Chinese community in the New York City area on a digital subchannel of Family Radio's television station, WFME TV. This would end in October 2013, when the station was revamped into an international ethnic station, WNYJ TV. Programs <laughs> 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 Groove Zone, a general wide-ranging discussion on social matters. See also 
Media in Taiwan English language print media published by the Government Information Office Taiwan Review Taiwan Journal Voice of Free China <laughs>